best life. I told y'all I'm living my best life. I made a couple L's with my best friend. Hey guys, so I know that that intro was super long, but I had so much fun filming this video and I'm going to show you guys how I created this look. So before we get started, you already know, make sure that you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you will be notified of all videos. I have a few more Halloween videos coming out, so yes, let's get into this one. So first, I am doing my eyebrows with the little black pencil that came in the kit that I showed you guys and I just got that kit from Walmart it's like a um a zombie kit or a clown kit and and then I'm gonna um fill them in with my elf brow gel that I like to use brow pomade and I'm going to clean them up with my phone concealer and make sure that I brush them real, real good. Oh, and I have a new hair color. I um, And I also cut my hair down a little bit because since I had been wearing wigs and stuff so much, it had grew out. So I cut it down and I am a redhead now. So, yes, y'all. I like it. I love short hair. It's just too easy. Too easy. So with the little face paint that came in the kit, I am going to put this white all over my face, which really is going to kind of um, show up as like a gray look. So it's going to be that ashy, dead look, and I really like this. Because it made me look like really dead. But this face paint and keep in mind I don't normally do um I not normally I never done um any Halloween makeup like this where I've used face paint or whatever so um this face paint was not the best not to me it really like you have to work with it like just a little bit too hard for my liking because it was just so blotchy like it just wasn't mm, it just wasn't I didn't like it not really but I mean it's face paint it's not foundation so I'm sure that they have better stuff out there because makeup brands kind of get into the whole Halloween thing now but this was really hard to work with and it just was like going away like <laughs> like no matter how much I put on it's still just like going away but I made it work I think so so now for the eyes I am going in with that Maybelline makeup Shayla palette the city mini and I'm going with that black color and I'm putting that all on the lid, honey. We want to smoke that thing out and be as dark as possible. So I went with the black. Next, I'm using my Morphe by Jaclyn Hill palette, part of the Vault series, and that is the Ring the Alarm palette, and I'm going in with that dark brown color called Secret, and I am putting it all over the crease lid, the lid, and um, yeah, we just really wanted to go dark, dark, dark. Give you all the zombie bride feels, honey. And then I go in with this black eyeliner and line the top and the bottom. 
Now I'm going to try to contour and I'm using the black face paint to carve out where I want to contour at first. So I'm going to do that to both sides with my little kissy fish face. <laughs> and then, you know, my forehead. Contour my forehead. So I'm going to pat that in. And then I decided that that just wasn't enough. So I started using that same black eyeshadow that I used on my eyes and mix that in with it and just kind of blended that out the best I could like I kind of like jacked it up when I got to contouring the side of my face but yeah I used the black eyeshadow on this and I also used the brown see ya I was like eh not looking so good so then I go back over with some white face paint to kind of blend this out just a little bit more. I don't I didn't want it to be like just too much. I mean, I know I'm a zombie, I'm a dead bride, you know, but I just want it to be blended out a little bit more. I mean you can't perfect death, so <laughs> it didn't have to look perfect, but hey. I need that to be blended a little, little bit more. So then I decided to highlight my under eye. And we really could have left that alone. Like this step really could have been avoided. It's unnecessary. But I guess I'm just kind of so used to um, highlighting under my eye that I just went ahead and did it. And I use a lighter color. Usually I use foam, um, part of the LA Girl concealers, but this time I used Warm Honey and it's like a shade lighter. So then I go in my Beauty Blender um, look alike. And, <laughs> and I um, pat all down my face and kind of like blend everything out because it's like at this point you can't really see it on camera but my face was just shiny like just so shiny and i didn't like that at all so now we're gonna smoke out that bottom lash line with this same black mascara and get it really dark and just dark and dead looking <laughs> smoke it out girl then I decided to add some of the red face paint that was a part of that kit as well and put it where I contoured at. Kind of like part of the contour, kind of part of blush. I don't know. It's just, I just felt like it would look good. So I decided to put it there. And it did. It made it look, it made it look a little better. So then I had another kit that came with vampire blood, you, and it also came with tattoos. I did not use the tattoos though, but I did kind of try to use this blood to make some, like I'm bleeding from all kind of places, honey. I'm just putting it everywhere. Now I'm using this Maybelline red lipstick. Um, so I just got from Walmart and I'm going to line my lips with it and then I am going to go in with my that same black eyeshadow and that same black um, face paint and kind of go on the outer corner of my lips and shade those in black so yeah I just do my lips and then I add a little blood coming from my lips my mouth whatever and then I um I add some blood in other places and then I add some I 
lashes and I put some mascara on my bottom lashes just to kind of complete the look and yo y'all let me know what you think of this video let me know how you like this look um let me know down below in the comment sections what you will be for Halloween. What are your ideas for Halloween this year? I would love to see those comments, you guys. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to follow me on social media. And make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell, honey, so you won't miss a video new videos every thursday at 12 p.m central standard time i will see you guys then goodbye